So tonight, working on the second leg of this strange, very, very strange looking biped. Doesn't have a name yet. Um, and this EPBC little platter platform. I just rigged it up there so I could get the sucker standing up so I can start to work with, uh, with the other actuators. As you can see, no actuators down below, so it just has these pivot joints right now. I don't want to touch it. There she goes. I'm going to run into problems here. She's just teetering, just balancing right now, and the fact that the screws are locked in there pretty good. But no, no other actuators right in here at the hip, I suppose you want to call it. Um, and then also down on the feet, A, doesn't have any feet, just has these little makeshift ankles, which are the same uh, elbow pivots as we have up on the hip. So no actuators in the shin or uh, Achilles tendon area, I suppose, no, no calf muscle. All we have are these big actuators right here for um, the thighs that control these joints, these little knee joints right here. So there she is, got the battery up top, giving a little, little more weight for some balance. Um, and then the knee joints are actually a little different. They're, excuse me, old style going down nice. Um, they are actually, let's see if I can get a good angle here, just little shims of metal. These little metal, or rather aluminum plates that I, uh, I cut down and, and slid on the inside so they'd stay nice and tight and then just drilled them out and slid a screw through here and just have the wheels on the end uh, those are the wheels from actually the, the ankle and hip joints I just have on there just for, I don't know I hesitate to even stay, say aesthetics because I'm not even sure that they're all that, it's all that pleasing but so there she is, she's kind of standing wouldn't dare turn around or move her because she would fall over in a second but hopefully all that will change once we have have the other actuators in the uh, the hip and ankle area so there she is unnamed project aluminum biped